How did you find yourself on coming to America in this thing now? Boy, that ain't nothing but God. Come on, man. Boy. Break that down to me. Man, so what's so crazy, um, me and uh, on Netflix, I think, sign, um, yeah, it was Seinfeld. He would interview all the uh, comedians. They take a ride. Coffee coffee and comedians or something like that. Yeah. So one day we had saw uh, Eddie Murphy. On there with Seinfeld. I was like, bro, Eddie's so cool. Like, we just, me and Erica talking about him, like, we bragging on Eddie. Yeah. So, boom, I saw that they were uh, casting for Coming to America. What's so crazy? I had auditioned one time because they were calling it The Quest. Mm. But what the role they had me audition for, it was actually the role that Tracy Morgan got. Mm. So, uh, but you know, me not knowing. So, the second time they sent me in the audition, they sent the audition. I was like, man, because now in my head, I don't audition for so much. And I ain't got nothing. Yeah. So it's like, bro, I'm not just a number person. Like, yeah. I ain't finna keep doing that silly stuff. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel you. So, but on this time, we go see George Pierre. Mm -hmm. Man, be hot. When I tell you every comedian in the Southeast region was in that damn office. My God. So I'm like, bro, what they done sent me up to? So I'm saying, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm saying, when I get another. You got your Desi Banks in there. You got, I'm talking about everybody who doing comedy, uh, DC audition, like yeah. everybody. Uh, but I'm looking around the room, I'm like, bro, everybody in shape. <laughs> I said, now, nah, if they want somebody short and fat, this got my name written on, all man. over it. I said that. I look up Rodney Perry, bring his God ass in there. I said, damn, damn. I got some competition. <laughs> What's so crazy? Both of us end up getting it, me and him, though. Okay, breakdown being on that set though, man. Oh man. Because I mean you got legend after legend after legend. Were you able to pick anybody's brain on that set and oh, what man. was the energy like? I know Arsenio Hall was tired of me. Every time we got a break, I ask him a question. Cause he 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 a great storyteller. He'll yeah. tell stories like, you know what I'm saying? Cause he was there. Yeah. He was telling us when Eddie met met Richard the first time yeah. and just stories by him, Prince. Stories about him on the Arsenio Hall show. Crazy. So he told us a lot of, I would ask a lot of Eddie Murphy story because I didn't want to, you know, ask Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, tell him about that time with Eddie. So, but he'll yeah. tell it. But like, bro, on some, in honesty, when I would look at the call sheet, mm -hmm. man, everybody like was a star. And then I see me. Whoop! Man, I'm talking about the PAs will come around and try to help. I got it. Yeah. I don't want y'all to go complain about nothing. I'm not getting fired from this shit. Come on yeah, now. Yeah, so I, they were like, we'll bring you food. Nah, I go get it. Ain't no, ain't no pressure. I go get my snack. Come on. But it was just a good feeling even being on that set. But that, like, it opened my eyes like, man, this shit is attainable. Okay. So and I got it in Atlanta. In a, exactly. Yeah. So what did that do to your mind, too? Like you said, it was obtainable. Once you left that set after doing that damn big-ass movie, what was going through your mind moving forward, man? I mean, did it change anything in Nav Green? Hell yeah. <laughs> man, um, so before the movie came, but you know COVID hit after that. So they pushed the movie back. So I'm like, damn. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, man, that put it. I used to have a countdown and all. I had like, I'd be like 231, 231 days and counting. Yeah. Like I had the countdown going on, but it pushed it back. But I think everything happened for a, a good reason, though. Like, because yeah. it came out on Amazon Prime, it was the number one movie. They cut out a lot of intricate parts that we did. Mm -hmm. So at first, I was kind of, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, I was like, damn, like I was down about it. Yeah. But then, bro, I never forget. we doing Uptown, mm -hmm. and I was just, I was talking about it. And Clay, Mm -hmm. Rubicon, he had put it in perspective. What up, though, Clay? Man, he said, My God. he said, you know how many people? Because I was like, I was talking about how they cut the parts out. I was like, because you know we were joking about it at first, but then he pulled me to the side. He was like, you know how many people would have begged to be in your position? How many people sharing roommates to get even close to that? So yeah. when he said that, I started looking at the situation. I'm like, yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah. So he was like, man, no, nah, don't. He was like, yeah, you could joke and downplay it, but he was like, man, be proud of that. Exactly. So that when I started switching up, like, yeah, because I was in it. He was yeah. in it, bro. Come on, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah, Shoot, so man. I was in it, yeah. But no, nah, that thing right there, that that's just how life goes in the same breath, too. But then also being on a big budget-ass set of a movie, though, oh, man. man. I mean, what was that like seeing the production behind oh, everything? Oh, man, they didn't care about no time or yeah. nothing. You know, like, 
I done did a lot of independent films. <laughs> but they trying to catch daylight. Whoop the whoop. Come on, we got 20 minutes for the sun. Yeah, yeah. But they, they ain't got no worries. They bring out a big. Man, it's like they brought the sun to set. God damn. <laughs> Where they had a big light coming through like you thought it was daytime. Like, bro, <laughs> they wouldn't worry about no money at all on that set. Like, the food. Man, they had people like, like, you know, it's one thing to have, you know, the good food on set. Them food are, they, they are cooking the food to order. My God. So I'm like, we ain't got no lunch, lunch break. Like, it's like, we can sit down and eat, eat. <laughs> Man, I was, man, I was acting like a nigga from where I was from. Exactly. Yeah. Come they were like, oh now. yeah, that, that nigga from he from East Atlanta.